in electrical engineering, computer science and information theory. Channel capacity is the tight upper bound on the rate at which information can be reliably transmitted over a communications channel. By the noisy channel coding theorem, the channel capacity of a given channel is the limiting information rate that can be achieved with arbitrarily small error probability. Information theory, developed by Claude E. Shannon during World War II, defines the notion of channel capacity and provides a mathematical model by which one can compute it. The key result states that the capacity of the channel, as defined above, is given by the maximum of the mutual information between the input and output of the channel, where the maximization is with respect to the input distribution. Formal definition Let and be the random variables representing the input and output of the channel, respectively. Let be the conditional distribution function of given, which is an inherent fixed property of the communications channel. Then the choice of the marginal distribution completely determines the joint distribution due to the identity, which, in turn, induces a mutual information. The channel capacity is defined as where the supremum is taken over all possible choices of Shannon capacity of a graph. If G is an undirected graph, it can be used to define a communications channel in which the symbols are the graph vertices, and two code words may be confused with each other if their symbols in each position are equal or adjacent. The computational complexity of finding the Shannon capacity of such a channel remains open, but it can be upper bounded by another important graph invariant, the Lova SZ number. Noisy Channel Coding Theorem The Noisy Channel Coding Theorem states that for any i micron zero and for any transmission rate are less than the channel capacity C, there is an encoding and decoding scheme transmitting data at rate r whose error probability is less than i micron, for a sufficiently large block length. Also, for any rate greater than the channel capacity, the probability of error at the receiver goes to 1 as the block length goes to infinity. Example application An application of the channel capacity concept to an additive white Gaussian noise channel with B-Hertz bandwidth and signal-to-noise ratio Sn is the Shane non euro hartley theorem. C is measured in bits per second if the logarithm is taken in base 2, or nats per second if the natural logarithm is used, assuming B is in Hertz. The signal and noise powers S and N are measured in watts or volts too, so the signal-to-noise ratio here is expressed as a power ratio, not in decibels. Since figures are often cited in decibel, a conversion may be needed. For example, 30 decibels is a power ratio of channel capacity in wireless communications. This section focuses on the single antenna, point-to-point -point scenario. For channel capacity in systems with multiple antennas, see the article on MIMO. Equals AWGN channel equals, if the average received power is, W, and the noise power spectral density is, Watt per hertz, the AWGN channel capacity is, bits S, where is the received signal to noise ratio? This result is known as the Shane non euro hartley theorem. When the SN is large, the capacity is logarithmic in power and approximately linear in bandwidth. This is called the bandwidth-limited regime. When the SNR is small SNR, 